Hello, this is Chip with Web Video Chefs. I want to show you about a slideshow. I use iMovie to do a lot of my slideshows, especially around the holidays for birthday parties, for all types of events. I'm doing one right now for a friend for her uh, 30th birthday party. And I uh, want to make sure that I get all the pictures. So they were sent to me. The first thing I do is I import them. And um, you get them. I got the pictures. Uh, if you're like me, you hate getting 150 attachments. So you want to make sure you get somebody to put them into Dropbox or something like that. So I'm just going through here and going through all the pictures. So I'm just looking at them. And then an iMovie Preferences. If you go into iMovie Preferences and then you can make sure that um, four seconds you can um, you can make that longer so and I just made that longer for the four seconds I want each picture to be four seconds some pictures I want to be longer so if I want a picture to be longer or something like that I can um, or fix I'm gonna click right here into this little gear thing clip adjustments I want to I want the, I want to make that picture six seconds and not to all stills just that one then I can even add a video effect to it um, let's just see. We'll just make this one bleach bypass and then we'll do that. And then we're going to go, once we make it six seconds, we'll click on the crop button and, uh, actually the Ken Burns and rotation because you can't see her down here. So we want to make sure that we see it down there and then it goes down to, to her shoes and, uh, we can preview it by doing this. All right. And we see the shoes. Okay, so we're going to start a little bit lower and then go here so we can get to the shoes quicker. And there we go. All right, so that's the preview. I can also allow black here if I want it or disallow black. That means a lot of pictures are shot on iPhones or things like that. They don't fill up a screen. And then you have some pictures that do uh, fill a screen. So like that picture, that doesn't fill a screen, but I allow black because I like that picture. And I want it to go from large to small and uh, from small to large. And I just get to hit the escape button to go back. But yeah, a lot of these pictures are uh, shot like iPhones and um, things like that. So I'm going to go with this one and see how small this one is. So it doesn't matter. iMovie automatically rotates them and fixes them. So you can go right here. So um, we can go just like that. And I'm just going forward, just going through all these pics and seeing them. Next, after I adjust all the pics and put them all in an order, I want to go under my iTunes and then see the music that I have. So we're going to use uh, she's this Barbara Streisand song real quick that they want. And uh, we're going to just drag that one to let's drag that right under here, right before there. All right. So when we do it. All right, so we see that, and then, so then we know this slideshow is ten minutes. So we'll, and this is only a four-minute song. So we're gonna just uh, cut this song down a little bit more, and uh, we're just kind of going to make it to taste. And uh, it's all about taste. And it's all about what you like. And you see how when I cut the song down three minutes, it shows the amount there. So I think I'm just going to stop it probably right here actually i'm gonna i'm gonna keep on messing with the song a little bit here it is here's the end and keep on messing with it so that's that's one way to do it actually let's just click here and audio effects you can use and the duration right now we see of the audio so uh, as i go through this uh we're going to add another um Another song real quick. Let's add this song. And we'll start it right here. And we will put it right here. And then see it's connected by that little clip right there. So we'll fade that out. Okay, so then that's the songs really drive these slideshows. So the better the songs you get, uh, the better I think your slideshows will be. Cause, and the better you match them up. Sometimes you just get them and you match them up any kind of way. Okay, that's that, 
that's a good all right so i get all these pictures these are all the pictures and i guess these are key pictures so i'm just going to go through here make sure i get get them and we'll go there like that so we'll see so that's a good picture making sure you go through all of the pictures so we're going to allow black on that one because that's a good one and then, so once we're finished, let's just say I'm finished with all of these pictures. And, you know, see, and, uh, one more thing I want to show you. You can also rotate with this button right here. What you want to start, what you want to end. All right. And once you do that, you can go through and let us hit that. And then let, let us go. We'll end that right there. And then uh we will go right here and add this song right there and then last but not least we will add add the last song and then let's see where is this one we'll add this one right here All right, so this is how we're gonna mix this. So we're going to go ahead and um, all right, it's not a great mix right there, but we'll we'll make it. We'll we'll make it. Uh, we'll make it work. So that is a basic thing. When I'm finished, I either uh, I usually just export using uh, QuickTime. I usually don't go export movie, um, and I just go ahead and write to uh, a QuickTime movie, and then I make sure I use the default settings. Then after that, I just burn it to the DVD, or I encode it somewhere else. Or you can just send it right here to YouTube if you want, or Vimeo, right from iMovie. So let me work on this some more. I just wanted to show you that, and if you have any questions, you can always ask at webvideochefs.com.